Barbara Oakley's A Mind for Numbers is a fantastic book about learning strategies for absorbing that STEM goodness. The book is well written, intended for students, and I would highly recommend it to anyone who is looking to increase their ability to learn. Today I'm going to be going over a few of the principles from her book, but I am not going to be able to cover nearly all of it here today. So if you would like to see a part two to this video, then be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Or if you want to purchase the book for yourself, then there will be a link in the description. I'm going to split her advice into a few different sections. This first one being the act of just getting set up for learning. Before you even open a textbook, what do you do to make sure that you're going to absorb the information the best? And the biggest one here is obviously removing distractions and getting rid of those bad habits that you, you know they're bad. You know what you're doing is bad, but you do them anyways because it's an easy, feel-good, instant gratification habit. So she talks a lot about different ways to get rid of what she dubs your zombies and set up an optimal learning environment. When it comes to planning your learning section, she advises the Pomodoro method. For me, I use this 25 minute timer that sits on my desk and is distinctly not my phone because my phone sits away. I work for 25 minutes, I take a five minute break. Sometimes I flip this, I'll do actually like a 50 minutes, 10 minutes type deal. Uh, I, I find that's a little bit better when the work that I'm doing, I really need to get into like a deep state of mind. Like if I'm writing an essay and I'm just going, I'm not going to stop when the timer goes off. The book talks about ways to organize your day so that you have some leisure time in there so that you're not studying for five hours a day where those first couple hours might be really productive, but you get ever so less efficient as time goes on to the point that your time would better be spent elsewhere. It goes over the importance of reading something related to what you're trying to learn before you go to sleep and this next point that I'm going to be covering here mastering the difference between your diffuse and your focused mode of thinking Barbara Oakley splits your thinking up into two distinct groups your focused way of thinking and your diffused way of thinking focused is when you're in that 25 minute Pomodoro chunk you're trying to solve a difficult problem and you're actively trying to see how things might work together as opposed to your diffused mode of thinking which you might utilize in that five minute break when you're doing a simple chore you're listening to some music and your brain is digesting everything that you just worked on it's connecting dots that you didn't even know consciously existed and it might be able to solve a problem that you were struggling with just 30 seconds beforehand it's really amazing what happens when you when you're working on something really hard and then you can't figure out an answer and you just go for a walk and all of a sudden you get back and it just jumps out to you that isn't because you have some kind of new perspective it's because when you got up and you went for that walk your brain was still working on the problem it just wasn't doing it consciously you weren't aware of it something as simple as blinking moving on to a different problem listening to some music although she does specifically say without words or reading a little bit of what you have to learn before you go to bed so that as you sleep your diffused mode of thinking is doing its work she has a whole part of a chapter about how you might be able to read before you go to sleep and then dream about the thing that you're trying to solve and solve it in your dreams now that is some next level lucid dreaming strategy Chunking is another important part of the learning strategy, making sure that the, what you're learning is getting hooked together. You're building concepts, you're building a world in your head, and you're not just learning individual facts because it's really easy to forget facts, but it's really hard to forget a concept. So she speaks to the importance of chunking the information that you learn, and she talks about some strategies that one can use to increase the chunks that your brain is capable of supporting. Mnemonics are something that's really important too, making sure that that what you're learning you don't necessarily have to learn just that but you can use strategies like coming up with visual elements to the things that you're learning associating them with different movements or places and overall just making sure that you have PEMDAS instead of just parentheses exponents multiplication division um, 
addition subtracted, I remembered it because I have PEMDAS, I have the acronym. So she talks about different strategies there too. The biggest and what I'm gonna leave to be the final piece from Barbara Oakley's book is spaced repetition. For this, I use the software Anki. It's a really important part of my learning strategy. It's basically a Quizlet flashcard making app, but when you do a flashcard and you say, okay, that was easy, then it waits a few days before it pings you that you have to learn it again. If it was hard, then it might take it 10 minutes. And if it was really hard, then it, you might review it again in one minute. But this spaced repetition roughly associates itself with the time that you would have forgotten something. So just before you forget it, you remember it. And in the act of remembering it, you make that knowledge path stronger in your brain. I'm sure that was the completely correct psychological terminology. And of course you're gonna learn all of this and you're gonna sit down and take a test. And something that really stood out to me was she mentioned the importance of kind of starting on the difficult problems and then working on the easy ones. Because when you start on the hard ones and you need the self-discipline to say, okay, this is too hard, it's taking up too much of my time, I need to go somewhere else. But when you start on a hard one, you just look at the question, then it'll start working in that diffused mode of thinking while you're focused on other easier problems. I genuinely think that this book is the key to getting straight A's in most of your STEM classes. And a lot of what she talks about can even be applied to your liberal arts classes. So please, I highly recommend the book. She has online courses, other books. Barbara Oakley is, a, is an extremely well-developed author. So any of her stuff is worth checking out. I personally plan on checking out more of her stuff. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It might've been a little bit of a shorter one, but my college semester starts this week. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty of time to do all of the planning and reading the syllabus and reading the textbooks and all of that fun stuff. Again, like, comment, subscribe. It all helps out the channel a lot. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Peace.